Welcome back guys to digitalh.com and we are working to create a fully functional newsletter system in PHP and MySQL. So today we would be spending some initial minutes in order to make this form look more organized. So very first uh, I want you to do guys is give these particular devs a different ID. So I'm gonna say form elements one and out here on the bottom I'm gonna make a class of clear. Okay. And then in our style sheet, we can say div id form elements one should float towards right. I'm sorry, not towards right, towards left. And the div, which has a class of clear, should clear everything before and after it. So clear both. Then give it some padding to 20 pixels I'm sure this will make our form look pretty nice and then next we will have to take care of this particular submit button first it's coming away you know on the middle we want it to be on the extreme left one thing we can do is we can take the label off which is out here this will let our button to be on the left yep, it is on the left and then guys you can go to this particular website which says css button generator.com and you can create a button from there so they will create a good functional css3 button for you without uh, even you know writing your own code and prefixes for different browsers they will do it for you okay so this color looks fine i'm gonna click the button i will copy the entire code i will paste it here Okay, then we will give it a class of my button. Class my button. If we will come back. Okay, now we have a nice submit button that we can actually submit the form. Next thing that every time you were creating any forms or if we were getting any errors, they were coming here on the top. So if I will hit submit see they they came on the top so one thing guys you can do is uh, whether you can try to make this particular request with the agents that I showed you while creating the login or the sign up form or you can do it in a different way that what I'm, I'm gonna do right now so I will open okay I have the newsletter.php file first I will take the entire code from here and I'm gonna paste it to a different Page, okay. So inside the script folder, I'm gonna make a script that would be newsletter submit.php. Okay, and we would be pasting our entire code out here, and here would be the connection.php, not scripts slash connection because we are inside the scripts folder right now. And everywhere we have echo, I'm gonna chain them to variables so that we can use these variables on a different page. So I'm gonna say dollar error is equal to this, and then this, and here would be dollar success. So if we have a success, we have a different variable for that one, and for all of our errors, we have the one variable that's dollar error. Out here, we can call this file. So I can say include once script slash newsletter submit dot php and somewhere out on the top let's say after create newsletter we can have these errors or you know I can say php if is set dollar error only if the error variable is coming go ahead and echo dollar error okay in the same way if there is a success echo success okay I believe that's done if it will come back we might see our error somewhere around here on the top okay it says please fill in all the required fields so and now we are getting on the same page next thing we have to do is to provide them certain divs so I'm gonna say echo div with an ID of error 
and guys make sure that you are using double quotes inside and single quotes outside otherwise you will end up with an error because if you will use a single code out here php will think this single code is starting here and ending here so we will have to use double quotes inside and the single quotes outside then there will be a period sign to let them know that string is uh, like finished now we have the variable here the variable is getting finished so again a period sign and again our string that would be the end of the dev you will have to do the same thing with a success so okay dev id success so our success would be inside a div id success and our error would be inside the div id error okay very simple and a period sign because we are ending the variable out here then in this child sheet we can say div id error should float on left okay then should have a padding of 10 pixels should have uh, a color red you guys can choose a color by using a code i'm just gonna write red for now so come back refresh it let's see what we get okay it's not why it's making everything else in a red color let's check it out okay because we haven't closed our dev out here okay now uh, it's pretty fine but it's making things look really untidy out here on the top but don't worry we can solve it out okay it is floating towards left let's take it off okay we can make it without float towards left that's looking better same thing we can do for the success one just have a different color make it to green so if i will <coughs> select a black template this time and i will say second news letter okay sender's email will be my email the name would be my name and the content would be this is the second news letter we created and open to create more. Okay, open to create more. That is the only reason we are creating it. So here it says success. Now, if you want, you can change the font size to something else and use an image like a text sign or something like that. But very quickly, I'm gonna go to my PHP my admin to see whether we got the correct entry to our newsletter or not. So we have this particular table that says newsletter. Here is the newsletters we are creating. Here is a dark one that we created today, right? No, this is not the one. I think I'm I'm looking to a different database. I'm sorry. Uh, I believe that was news that we created. Yeah, this one newsletter. Okay, so we have two of dark. This is the one we created right now. This is the one we created last time with you know wrong entries where we have a different uh, like where where we actually switched things. And this is the right one we had, and uh, this is the actual correct one that we created just right now. So the next thing we have to do is we have to create a page from where we can actually see the list of these newsletters and then we will have the links to send them or to edit them out. So very quickly, um, inside the root folder we're gonna make a new file. We will name it to newsletter list.php. Okay, we will have the list of all the newsletters. Okay, and inside the includes folder, I want you to guys open the nav.php file and here create one more link to this new page that we can toggle very easily. So I'm going to say newsletter list.php. Here I'm going to name it to send newsletter. Okay, come back. Do not resend okay out here it says send newsletter 
Now we will have to set up that particular page. So I'm gonna take the entire jump of code from here. I'm gonna paste it here. Then I'll remove everything from the form till this form, okay? And I'm gonna take this off. So again, refresh, go to send newsletter, and we have the same layout with a send newsletter and the same navigation. Now here we want to make a list where we can actually show newsletter to the person we want to send it out. So out here, 